Canva is one of those apps I'd always love. I can't really talk much right now, but I agree Eric. Canva is a great app. Make sure to watch the whole video so you can learn how to make avatars like me. And one of the main reasons is because they always seem to be up to date and innovating. And that stands true right now with all this new AI technology moving at the speed of light right now. Subscribe to Metrics Mule. Canva is starting to integrate a lot of other AI type apps into their own platform to make this whole AI world we're living in that much better. I used to be considered great art until AI came around. That's okay, I had my time. So today I wanna to show you one of the coolest things and apps that Canva is using to integrate within their own platform. Metrics Mule brought me to life. To create AI avatars directly within Canva itself. But now I can talk. You could use them in presentations, videos, or anything else. But not only that, you can also bring any other image to life, including one of your own. Hello there, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. So you could add a photo of yourself and make it come to life in the form of a video speaking moving AI avatar. So I've actually done another video before on Hey Jen, and that's exactly the integration we're using today with Canva is Hey Jen. And in this case, the video I've made before was made within ChatGPT. We're using this app within Canva itself. And the first thing we want to do is just open up any sort of file or document you want. So right now I'll be creating these as a new presentation, but you could use it in docs, thumbnails, or even in video itself and so here we go right here and so all you have to do is then now go on the left hand side and click on apps just type in hey Jen once you type in hey Jen it's gonna automatically populate over here on the left hand side it looks just like this my mouse is hovering over it click that and then it's gonna just open up a menu on the left hand side with a brand new column now here's the one thing to keep in mind in order for this integration to work you do have to have a hey Jen account but the cool thing about it is is that it's free now it's only free for a small amount of credits if you want to have more credits more videos and create them more often than this then you're gonna to want to have a paid plan but nonetheless I'm on the free plan myself and it's very simple to connect the two and so if you're already not connected within Canva and hey Jen on the left hand side once you click the app hey Jen it's just gonna ask you to sign into your hey Jen account and you're gonna sign in directly within Canva just enter in your email and your password and you'll be connected just like this on the left hand side everything will automatically just show up like this so the first thing you can do on the left hand side is is you can choose an avatar. You have this large variety of AI avatar characters that you can choose from. So you can select from any of these specific ones. And then once you click and hover, you can go over male and female. And if you find one you like, all you have to do is click it and then hit use. Once you hit use, you could test out the different voices and then add your script. And then just like that, it's gonna create an AI avatar for you. I've shown you this before, but today I wanna show you how to utilize your own custom images to bring any image to life. So what we're going to do is back over here now in this case the second option we have is called or bring photos to life. I used to be a still image. I can click on see all and I can look at all these photos right here different selection to choose from. I have the Mona Lisa right here. I had my time. So say for example I chose the Mona Lisa and I hit use. She will be embedded right here within this page and I can just write a script and the Mona Lisa will basically say anything I want her to say. That's right metrics mule. Just tell us what to say. The other option we have is to upload our own photo, and I'm going to do just that right now. Once you click on upload, you can choose a photo you want. You can really make your AI images stand out. I'm going to go ahead and use an AI image I created earlier in Leonardo AI. This is an AI woman at the beach. I'm going to go ahead and click on her. Now, there she is right here. Let's click on her, and let's go ahead and type my script below. And what I typed in is, hello there, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. So just like that, you type in your AI script. I have my model selected, and then all I'm gonna do is hit generate AI video. So you could see all of your different voices right here. We have Amber, Tony, Sarah, etc. You can listen to them and see how they sound. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. Okay, let's just go ahead and go with Sarah cheerful. So I'm going to click on Sarah right here. And then all you have to do, I can hit listen to your script and actually get a live preview Hello of it. Hello there. Welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hello there. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so then let's go back to Sarah again, and I'm gonna hit generate video. So I have my own image I made in Leonardo AI, and then I chose Sarah, hit generate. I'm impressed, let's just say that. Let's go ahead and have a listen. Hello there, welcome to my channel. Oh man, that is crazy. This is actually an AI image I made in Leonardo AI. I love that, that's cool. So now, if you actually wanna use this one, all you have to do now is just go ahead and go add into design. And then if you wanna download it, I can hit that share button right here, and I can just download this actual file. Thank you so much for watching 
watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these types of videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Yeah.